Hello folks and welcome to Subjective Thoughts. And our comic for today is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles slash Usagi Ujimbo Werewin Issue 3 by IDW. Now there is violence, killing, sword fighting, robots, moles, and sharp claws in this one. So if you are in any way- oh, and death. So if you are in any way squeamish, you have been warned. Oh so, spoilers. Alright, the team. As you can see, you're all the same people. Alright, so I finally uh, read issue 3. And we continue where we left off, well, obviously, in the uh, second issue. The gang, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Usagi Jimbo and the rest of the the clan there, they're about they're fighting the moles, the ninja moles. because uh, they yeah you know, they, they climbed up from the ground and they're everywhere and they're attacking. And everyone's like, holy shit, what's going on? So their uh, their plan is they they're trying to get their lord, Lord uh, you. <laughs> Just a moment. I forget his name. Uh, Lord. Ah, oh, there we go. Noriyoki. Lord Noriyoki. They're trying to get him and kill him. So everyone's fighting all around. Uh, Tomo overhears one of them saying that they need to get to Lord uh, Noriyoki. She starts yelling, Where is he? They go to him. Some of his uh, samurai surround him to protect him, but then the ground underneath them starts to rumble. And then it opens, uh, Lord Noriyoki almost falls in, but Tomo runs forward, she grabs him, grabs his paw, and then uh, sticks her uh, uh, katana, yeah that's a katana, sticks her katana in, katana in the ground, and manages to save him from falling in. And then some of the other samurai run uh, to assist her. Uh, the the turtles they jump into the hole and start fighting the ninjas. Uh, yeah, the, the the mole ninjas. And at, as they're fi they're fighting them, then suddenly they disappear. Some of the samurai of the lord or the soldiers they uh, throw ropes to them to help them get out of there. While that's happening. Uh, Everyone else is fighting the, um, the the rhino guy again. He's uh, he's also fighting. He's almost attacked from behind, but then his wife, uh, Kitsune, she saves him and she starts fighting alongside him. Uh, he keeps telling her, "Okay, you help me now. Go back." And she tells him, "You know, I grew up on the street. Fighting is a second nature." They keep fighting, but then unfortunately, she gets killed. Uh, the mole ninjas, they have these, uh, you can see here, these claws, the metal ones, and I think he, the, the one that kills her sticks them in her stomach, and she, probably, and she dies immediately. Obviously, again, the, the, the rhino is fucking devastated, and he goes berserker on all the moles. Starts, pie, you know, just going at them. And he kills a lot of them, the rest of them escape, and then Usagi runs to him and Tries his best to calm him down, grabs him, yells at him again. They're, they're all, they're either dead or they ran away. And then uh, Usagi's cousin and his, uh, I was going to say his son, not confirmed, maybe his son. Anyway, the other bunny, uh, they go, Jethro. They arrive and they, they caught one mole alive. Now, Gen wants to go to that mole and also kill him. But uh, Usagi again stops him, holds him down, and says, Listen, we need information from him. He's the only one that can tell us what's going on. If you kill him, you know, your wife's death will be in vain. And uh, again, again says, Yes, you're right. But if he refuses to talk, you know, you let me at him. I'll make him. He approaches them all along with the... There's the ninja lady that uh, uh, also uh, is with them. So she's, um, she goes with him, as the mole refuses to talk, he, can, he says, you can torture me all you want, I won't talk. 
And the ninja lady says, yes, that's true. This clan, they, they won't talk to you, but if you pay them, they will tell you whatever you want. So yeah, on one hand, they won't share information for torture, but just pay them and they'll start talking. They kind of suck. And anyway, um, we go we go then to back to the turtles. Uh, Tomo tells them that they have the the gratitude of the whole uh, clan and of their lord. And uh, the other um, one, of the turtles said, "Well, we still need. Uh, I think um, uh, Leonardo says, but we still need help to track where when." And again, the lord, uh, I forgot his name. Again, I'm just gonna call him Tomo. But Ton, Ton, the, the Lord, he says, uh, I'm sorry, we still can't go against our sh Shogun's orders. We have to go forward. But then uh, Usagi runs up to them with the ninja lady and tells them what they found out from the mole. So he tells them that this uh, th this Lord that they were going to uh, to, to attack... Uh, he's uh, he wanted to uh, he wants to overthrow the Shogun. And then when uh, Usagi says his name, the turtles are like, wait, uh, Leon uh, Leonardo starts with that name is, and then Mikey finishes, translate to Werewind. And then they realize, oh, uh, our uh, goals might be the same. You need to find Werewind to get back home, and we need to find, and we need to stop Werewind so we won't kill our Shogun. So... Uh, that's it. But they decide they need to go and investigate that his uh, Werewind's uh, uh, headquarters, where, where he's at, is not that far. So Usagi's like, we need to send uh, spies there. So the ninja lady tells him she'll go with him. His uh, cousin and Jethro also volunteer. And of course, the, the turtles are going. And Tomo wants to go, but uh, the, the Tono says no. You know, I can't let so many seasoned warriors go. So, uh, that's it. It is decided they're going to go. Then we go uh, back to the headquarters of Werewen. He's there with the moles. Um, the, the mole came back to report to him. Sorry, there was a cut there. Um... Right, the, so the mole, the one the moles go, goes to report to him, the ninja mole, that uh, they failed the mission. Uh, a lot of them have been killed, and he wants uh, Werewind to compensate them for their fallen uh, ninja brethren. Now, Werewind said, you will only be paid once you succeed the mission, and, you, um, and we will be paid what we already agreed upon. And then, and then suddenly all the moles appear and, and the main mole says, if you don't pay us, we will uh, crumble your whole uh, castle from beneath. And there's a lot of moles there. And there's a moment where it kind of seemed like they drew Waldo among the moles there. I wonder if that was intentional. Because what mole has glasses and almost like a Santa hat? I don't know, that was kind of funny. <laughs> but yes, um... And the, the the main mole says, "You will, you know, you, you can't fuck with us." And Werewind's like, "And you cannot fuck with me." And then he yells, "Kill them, kill them all!" And the moles are like, "What?" And then they, t uh, well, they don't turn, but then then suddenly they look, and uh, an army of ro an army of robots is behind them. And then they turn, and oh shit! And the robots uh, go go at them, and that's it. That's where it ends. All right, let's get to the art first. This is another uh, Stan Saki cover. I got the uh, the wraparound. Well, all the ones Stan Saki has been doing have been the wraparound. At least this one is actually representative of what happens in the comic. Uh, the the one for the second issue is kind of misleading if you don't know the turtles or Usagi. But yeah, there we go. I mean, it doesn't happen like this exactly, but it's a correct representation. All right, on to the art. A few pages. So, yeah, there we go. You see we start. There we go. The art, as always, is very lovely. There we go. See them all fighting. Look at these bastards. 
there's the Lord uh, Ah Norioki. I know I, I keep forgetting his name, but yeah, there he is, the panda guy. You see, they're all fighting. The bastards. All right, now on to the story. So we've gotten some good progress in issue three. We already uh, we're getting closer to them. I think uh, finally facing where when. But I wonder if the final face or if the face off will finally come in the last issue, or uh, or will it take longer? Because I think there are five five issues to this mini series. I don't remember. But I know there's not a lot of them, so it has to probably wrap up in the next two or three issues. But uh, the action in this one was definitely very uh, cool. That's some, I mean, you got fighting moles, although what's more exciting. And I do want to see if uh, next we'll see a pile of mole bodies all over when, when, where, when's castle. Because obviously the, his robot arm is going to kill him. The how is it going to continue? And also what happened to the other group that uh, Lord Roy, uh, Royoki sent before? Are they still alive even, or did where when take care of them? Well, that's left to be seen. I might get issue 4 soon, and I definitely look forward to see where this continues. Alright, so that is it folks. Uh, let me know. Have you read uh, issue 3? What do you think of the story so far? Do you like it? Do you not like it? And that is it. Now remember, collect what you're passionate about and share it on YouTube. Bye! <laughs>